Hello everyone and welcome to another of several looks at this cold spell coming up starting tomorrow. Um so let's get on. So, so, so starting off with our GFS 12 Zs from today Sunday, we're going to see that this trough today is moving towards Europe tomorrow, and that is opening door to use colder northerly or northeasterly winds. Beyond that, we see um we see a big high over Scandinavia and to the north of it, and we see troughing forming over us and to our west. We see a low forming to our west, and that slides and merges with a low to our south, so it moves from our west to our south, and that allows the wind to um, go into an easterly direction. So colder from, especially Thursday onwards, properly cold then, wintry cold with showers into the east and north wintry and they may even go quite far inland um, with some of these runs. After that we see um, the low clearing towards Scandinavia, Germany and we see a northerly flow quite slack so showers confined to the north coast and inland by day it will be very crisp bright and frosty and by night severe frost uh, and mist and fog as well. Then into the um, into the first full week of December, we start to see this low coming in, coming in from the west. That tries to bring milder air, but will probably bring some snow in the mix as well. Um, and then the low does move southward, so the cold air hangs on for a bit. But by the 6th of December, um, we're, we're into these very mild southwesterly winds, and it's very stormy there by the 8th of December. So by then, the yeah, Atlantic has broken through. And we're very straightforwardly zonal, with a deep low towards Iceland and Greenland, a uh, strong high towards Azores and out towards the Atlantic, and therefore we're seeing um, very strong westerly winds in a uh, classic, classic zonality with this. The, the uh, ensembles f from the GFS, from the upper temperatures, first of all, and then snow row, and then GFS. Okay, so again, um, a few ensembles going for a milder spell around the 30th, but only minority. Most go quite well um, below freezing. Very cold, especially from Thursday to, to uh, the 4th of December especially. Then milder from then on. Quite a nice trend there, um, but quite uncertain. Um, snow row then, snow for Dublin. Um, again, D Dublin looks pretty good for snow, especially from Thursday Saturday. Uh, gory, similar thing, not as good though. Um, let's go to Cork. Cork. A bit of winteriness, but not that great. Tipperary in South Midlands. This morning, that looked good, but that has gone down as expected, really. That did look a bit over the top. Limerick on the west coast. Not great Galway. <laughs> um, I think the winterness will be focused in the Midlands, East and North, with the uh, showers coming in off the Irish Sea. Um, Cavan. Not a great update, this one. A bit of winterness with, for Cavan, Lesser Kenny. The North. Lesser Kenny. Quite good, for, quite good there because they're exposed at northerly winds. Let's go towards somewhere like uh, Drogheda. Drogheda, yeah, some spikes here. Dundalk, that's pretty close, so pretty much the same. Uh, Athlone in the Midlands, probably not much because, um, yeah, not much. Something I've noticed is that, the, is that the low that may have come up on Wednesday, that may come up Wednesday, has now shifted southwards, is straight southwards. So now I think the only wintry risk is from showers um, because there just won't be enough moisture around on Wednesday. Um, but that will mean that it'd be colder as well. So a high chance of snow from any precipitation that does fall. Um, so starting off with our GFS precip top forecast, you can see mainly rain through Monday, but some winteriness over the UK, especially in northern areas. Um, it's Tuesday, Wednesday time. Um, again, wintriness for Scotland, Northern England, but still for Ireland, it's rain, if any precip is all. Um, then this big band of rain comes up from the south into Thursday morning. 
This turns into a big snow event for Wales and the Midlands of the UK. For Ireland, some winteriness in parts of the east, but not much. Um, in the end, you see the snow event going on for the UK, and we're in these showers, especially in the east and north. Winteriness there, quite likely, in the east especially, for a time. It's your Friday, 1st December, showers in the east and north, wintry at times. They could go inland for a time as well. Um, beyond that, we see wind slackening, so showers confined to the north, really, before a high cuts the north, cuts the northly off. Beyond that, we see these um, fronts coming in from the southwest, bringing some milder air, and towards the end of the run, we're into this, these uh, westerly winds, so very, very wet with those. Um, snow risk dies, apart from over Scotland. Um, next one is the ECM. Not piece of type, but pressure type pattern. Okay, so pressure. So into tomorrow, Monday, first drop of cold air, and by Tuesday and Wednesday, we see a low forming to our west. Um, and the trend is for, for, for it to uh, slide southwards into Thursday and Friday, and we're into this colder easterly and northeasterly wind by Thursday and Friday, very ba backing more northerly by the weekends. And into the weekend, we see this little low sliding southeastwards on the jets, keeping us in cold air. Um, bear in mind, and then the high comes over us by Tuesday, but it goes towards Scandinavia and pulls in this easterly winds. Interestingly, uh, the ECMWF upper temperature forecast for Dublin is like this upper temperature forecast. So, um, actually, the ECM is quite you know, the ensembles aren't training that much milder with the ECM into the first week of December, they're staying quite cold. And the GFS, not the GFS, the ECM run is not an outlier. It's actually quite well supported by ensembles. Some runs going very cold actually over here towards minus ten. Um, so you know, could we see a colder spell continue there? Possibly. Be prolonged. Who knows? Anyway, next one is the. Um, this is our precip type forecast from. Um, the ECMWF. I don't want this. It's all sort of blocking the view. Okay, please don't. Okay, right. So moving forward quite quite swiftly then. So into Tuesday we're seeing not much snow at all, if any. Um, still then quite quite likely to be rain. Big snowstorm in 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 the North Sea though. Um, after that we see. This area of low to our west, that keeps away from us. And we see showers forming on the east coast for a time. Mainly rain still on Thursday morning, but this is where the cold air starts coming in. So showers turn very wintry in the north and east on Thursday night. Actually, they, they do get in land on th Thursday evening, Thursday night. So, you know, um, if the winds is strong enough to carry these in lands, they could be a little um, trough, some sort of feature on the flow. That just carries the showers in land. I think that's what's happening here. Into Friday, first December, we see snow showers on the east coast. Um, quite heavy ones there for a time actually, but they don't really go in lands as far as I know. Uh, beyond that, showers turn to snow in the north. Before we see um this area of low pressure just sort of brushed by us. That won't bring any snow. No, nope. and we end up with high over us. However, it goes towards Scandinavia. At the very end of the run, you see snow showers pushing westwards on this easterly flow. So, quite a lot of going on. Um, next thing to look at is the UK Met run. However, uh, it's still not updated, so we have to use the UKV high res chart. This one looks quite epic, actually. So, we'll skip towards when. Um, skip, skip towards Wednesday. So, that's when we start seeing the showers forming. In the Irish Sea, and they start moving inland on Wednesday nights. At that point, nothing wintry, but if they push inland Thursday, they'll turn to snow. Then into Friday, we start to see water showers on the east coast, and overnight they turn increasingly wintry and they push inland. So I think the eastern half of the country in general has a risk of snow showers or at least wintry showers on Thursday nights. 
Look, look, look at, just look at the UK there. Look, look at the UK. Look at that band of rain moving northwards and turning to snow. Um, that that would be epic for parts of like Kent, Norfolk up to Lincolnshire and also the the uh, East Midlands. A lot of snow for you guys there on Friday, if this is correct, if it's correct. Um, and then we start to see snow showers quite widely on the east coast of Ireland and up the east of the UK. Oh, that's quite a lot of snow from that run. Um, I think that, that may be a bit overdone though. Um, anyway, this is the GEM, the GEM run. So, let's, let's go on with this. So we know what's happening tomorrow. We see this cold shot initially. At first, not really cold enough for snow, not really much moisture around. But as this low forms to our west and moves southwards, we'll see actually quite a deep low there by Thursday at midnight to ourselves. Strong easterly winds, uh, bringing in showers to the east. At first, mainly rain and hail, but they'll return more and more wintry throughout Thursday and Thursday nights. So by Friday, I think we'll see a high risk of wet snow, at least in many eastern and northern counties, possibly also going in lands, as, as we saw with the um, ECM forecast. Beyond this, we actually see a more of a westy flow coming in for a time before th before this northerly comes back. So, um, quite a lot of different outcomes for the weekend coming up. The GM ensembles are like this. So, um, actually, you know, quite often ensembles staying quite cold beyond the 4th of December. Um, you know, the operation run was not an outlier here. It was supported by its members, but still a lot of them going milder, so it's all up in the air still. Um, next thing is the GEM precip forecasts. So if we go here, let's go to UK, precipitation type, here we go. We will zoom through this, I've already spoiled things a bit by going there. Um, so starting on Wednesday, Thursday time, we see we actually see some winterness in the south there. Look at that. Also over Wales and Midlands. That's probably overdone, but okay. Um, beyond this, we see um, showers moving towards the east. Um, turning winter at times. It's actually, this run has very few showers through the end of the week, strangely enough. Um, I'd say there'll be more than that, though. And after that, we go into these northerly winds. Uh, snow for the north on the 3rd of December. Which play for, and beyond that, we're into these colder winds again from the north. Um, then the icon before we go, uh, and the arpege, uh, the icon of a. Let me actually just plow through this now. Okay, so icon Wednesday and Thursday, you see the low going south, then there's cold easterly winds coming in after it, and then we go actually quite cold, possibly wintry then. Um, next thing is the icon precip type forecast, so we just get out of this icon Europe and then we go towards UK and precip type. So we can see that into Tuesday, Wednesday time, Wednesday, Thursday, we start to see the showers coming from the east, wintry, um, increasingly wintry, especially towards the end of Thursday and start of Friday. Look at those snow showers on the east coast actually. I'm on the east coast, so good for me, maybe. Um, also in parts of, parts of the north as well. Also in in the south of the UK, snow event there. Also in the on the east coast of the UK, snow showers. Interesting, to say the least. Um, never knew we'd be, talk we, we'd be talking about this two weeks ago. And our page, finally, we're seeing similar trends. Strong easterly winds towards the end of the week, bringing in these wintry showers. Uh, finally, the Arpege precip type forecast. We can get that quickly. Uh, Arpege UK precip type. Should it be that anyway? Okay, so if we just skip towards Wednesday and Thursday, so again, that little low goes to our south, and then we see showers coming in from the east. Not many showers, actually. Hmm, surprising. Um, but I'd say there'd be quite a few showers on that wind. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow morning and tomorrow evening for more updates. And bye for now. Enjoy the uh, the uh, cold weather.